Yo, 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 guys, it's your boy Bash bringing you a Sea of Conquest video. This is the Trailblazer. This is an event between seasons. So season one, you'll see it after you finish the season, and this is kind of like introing you to the other seas. For us, we're waiting for season three to start, and we got the Trailblazer event. We're going to be matched up with five other seas, so six seas in total for season three. It's going to tell us a lot about the other players, what's going on. Uh, strategic, uh, NST, we fought against them. I do believe that they have learned a lot about fighting evil and we learned a lot. So in our first trailblazer event, I did not believe in spending emeralds or resources on the trade-ins. Uh, some of these people I think are trading in a lot. I don't think it's very advisable to do uh trading in emeralds or resources you're going to need that especially um, now that the levels of the ships are allowed to come earlier so season three you can get up to flagship 40 season four you can get up to flagship 45 so there's a lot of building to happen in the next couple 60 to 90 days for me so i need to keep my emeralds i need to keep my resources because i'm gonna run out so do not trade in emeralds or resources in this event and there's something else we're going to talk about for trading in and that's when i'm talking about trading in we're talking about the supply donations okay so we're going to hop in here a lot of people have traded in gold too you need a lot of gold and if you don't know how much gold you need for your ship i'm going to drop a link on evil gaming i have a calculator set up for you guys to figure out what uh, ship level you are so if you flagship 33 to get the flagship 35 it'll tell you how much gold you need so I'll drop it it's evil-gaming.com and you can use that calculator what you should be doing is cooking all season long and I suggest cooking the cakes and making vodka those are the probably two easiest items from the galley and distillery to make those are the two items you're going to focus on cooking and distilling all season long. So focus on that free to play and pay to win. Don't be lazy. Just cook and, and make sure you're distilling all season long. The large point getter for a lot of pay to win players and dolphins is the blue teardrops from disassembling your trinkets. You'll get a ton of points. You can see right now if I decide to. I'm not sure if I'm going to. It all depends on where Evil's standing on the sta um, for the points. These teardrops could get me 131 million points right now. I'm not sure where that moved me up in the maybe top 100 for points. I'm not sure. I've been accruing these blue planks. I'm only going to have purple, purple or legendary ships, so these blue planks don't mean much to me. I could trade these things in, get another 61 million points, or sorry, uh, 6 million points. My bad. Keep purchasing those from the stalls. And if you want, you can use them in here. Uh, it's kind of depending on how much you care about these buffs. Do I care about the buffs? No, I didn't care about the buffs from season one to season two. As soon as I saw that these buffs are only lasting for 30 days, uh, make myself disappear for you guys here. These buffs only last for 30 days, guys. And there's not much difference from first place to even 51, 51st place. So you got a 2% difference. Do I think that's worth it? Not really. Same thing with the, the gangs. 3% to 10th place is a 2% di difference. I just think the costs for your items, it's just too much. So hold on to your resources. Hold on to your gold. Hold on to your emeralds. Don't trade those things in. If you decide to do your blue teardrops, I'm not going to hold it against you because what are you going to do with those? You're probably not going to send a bunch of blue trinkets if you have a bunch of those blue teardrops. The uh, easiest way for free to play to get points other than cooking all season because there's a grind, guys. There's a grind to this. You got to sink armed fighters. Make sure you line it up with your pirate legends and trade and accumulate. So if you're doing your black market, make sure you line it up with the pirate legends as well. Get these 6.4 million points. I think that's the most important thing about this trailblazer event. 
it, it tells you a lot about people. So Droll Lagarde from NSA, he seems to be no joke. He's got uh, 620 million points on the first day of this thing. So he might, he'll probably hit 1 billion if someone starts pushing on him. Who knows? I know uh, some people just really like uh, being the number one ranking person in all events. So we'll find out. Uh, I'm going to drop in Lord of the Seas with you guys. I'm going to give some updates and see what happens. Uh, gang, there's a 2 million advantage on on us right now, which is wild. We are typically known as one of the top, top clans. We got LVE down here in 8th, so it would be kind of important for them to finish top 10 so they can get that that little boost but it's only 30 days guys so if, if you don't win on this event it's okay the the first week you're in the sea with uh with your own sea so the gates don't open so really if you think about it that that case is a 21 day buff um when they're attacking you in the when they're attacking you in the the straight clashes they're gonna have that buff on you too so um, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. So just take it easy for the Trailblazer event, guys. Don't go crazy. Maybe they might change it in the future, but I had to get my kind of thoughts on there. We're going to drop a little spreadsheet of how many points you need, especially because this disappears and you can't find much information on it. So we're going to drop that on the, the website. Yeah, if you have any questions, ask away in the comments. Uh, message me on Discord, Bash Brother one uh, join our Discord, and I'll help you out as much as I can. Hopefully, this kind of gives you guys a little insight of what you got to prep for for the Trailblazer event. A lot of cooking and distilling, guys. That's the most free-to-play way to do it. Cheers. Have a good one.